For the Turnbull government, today it was a case of so far so good on energy policy. Its attempt to end a decade of dispute over emissions and power prices cleared a meeting of state and territory ministers. And if the Prime Minister can get support from his own coalition MPs next week, the policy should be on its way to pass into law. Here's political editor Andrew Probin. Has anyone heard about the National Energy Guarantee? The first rule of dissent is know what you don't like which isn't a problem for some. What do we want? Clean power! How do we get it? Protect Railing against what was happening inside, where the mood was far more sombre. Australian eyes are on this room today. The nation's energy ministers told they had a collective responsibility to end the decade-long war over climate policy. And what happens here matters to the outcomes around every Australian kitchen table. To ease household pressure, the Commonwealth's proposing a mechanism devised by hand-picked experts. The National Energy Guarantee aims to slow the rapid rise in power prices while obliging electricity retailers to ensure supply is reliable, all while cutting emissions. But for some, the NEG lacks ambition and risks locking in fossil fuels over renewable energy. Arguments reflected by some Labor energy ministers today. The 26% uh, target uh, for the reduction uh, in emissions uh, is uh, uh, too low. The more renewable energy generation you build, the lower the prices will be for families and businesses. Thanks, Shane. Oh, Good luck. Yeah. Yep. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Liberal and energy ministers important. were a lot more positive. Today is a great step forward. It's very encouraging. This is a good approach to integrating climate and uh, energy policy. Despite their differences, ministers agree to let the NEG run the gauntlet of the coalition party room next week before making a final decision. Next Tuesday's D-Day for the Prime Minister. We had the victory because the National Energy Guarantee goes through the gate to the next stage. The greatest ally Malcolm Turnbull's got on the neg isn't its design, its ambition or its advocates. It's fatigue. Public tolerance for any more politicking on energy policy is very low indeed. But that doesn't mean the NEG's opponents, including former PM Tony Abbott, will go quietly. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.